Now we're coming into a new phase in robotics and robots are going outdoors and facing real environments. And so we want to look at animals which deal with an unpredictable environment. Anyone who's ever tried to step on one realizes that cockroaches are pretty good at running. If you knock them off track, if you trip them up, they begin recovering basically through body mechanics. They have a good suspension, their nervous system isn't doing anything. But we didn't know when the nervous system actually kicks in. And so I designed an experiment to figure out when the nervous system kicks in. Nature is in some sense the only alien intelligence we ever encounter. We see designs that work beautifully. They're just remarkable, spectacular. But we don't understand how they do what they do. And so this is our opportunity to, to look at these things and learn from them. And so we ran the cockroaches onto these plates. They get yanked sideways, basically with an elastic pulley. To give a proportion what that means, that would be like me running and being tackled by a sumo wrestler. And we film how their legs move. Use that to recover this quantity called kinematic phase, which basically tells us exactly where in the cycle of leg movements they are at any instant. And so if the nervous system is kicking in and changing that timing in any way, we can immediately see it. And what we discovered was pretty surprising, which is the nervous system actually kicks in very, very late. And so this is telling us something. It's telling us that, that for some reason they don't care to respond. That is, the evolution has, has found a solution for locomotion, which says, yeah, we don't need to do this so early. And so perhaps what we have to learn from this is that we shouldn't try so hard to control things actively. We should just build a good passive mechanical system and end up with a robot that's far simpler and far more reliable because it's not relying on electronics to do anything. It's relying on mechanics which are a lot more predictable. Beyond that, it could help us not only in robotics, it could help us if we're trying to think about medical applications and prosthetics because if we understand what makes gates, what makes locomotion reliable and safe, we could help people who have had some kind of neurological damage or, or accident damage recover useful gates. And anyone who's, who's had their ability to move impaired realizes just how important that is for quality of life. This can't be approached naively. You can't just look at nature and copy something. You actually need to do some scientific investigation and understand the underlying principles. There's certainly a lot more to do in, in legged robotics, and this is something we hope to learn from cockroaches.